Now I'm going to show you one of our new demo apps called Play Music. This is included with Firepower 6. It's in your public documents folder under the Firepower demos. And you can compile and run it um, using Rad Studio 10 Seattle. All the source code for this demo is included in Firepower 6. So let me go ahead and start this demo. And notice that this demo shows a list of albums that happen to be either on this iPhone or happen to be connected to it through the cloud. So in his example, you're going to see lots of albums. Some of them are my albums. Some of them are my wife's. Some of them are my kids. So you're going to see quite the wide variety of songs. This application uses one of my very favorite components in Firepower, and that's the TWW layout grid. And what I love about this component, it's able to display complex representations of your data, and it repeats that representation the number of times you want vertically or the number of times you want horizontally. And this displays that for each record. And not only does it display this complex representation of your database, it's able to display it quickly, efficiently, and in a natural way on your mobile devices. Let's go ahead and start scrolling the albums using the layout grid. Notice how the scrolling is very smooth. And this app is displaying a graphical image on the left, a dynamic icon on the right, and that icon is shown when the album is, is in the cloud, formatted text for the album name, a normal text for the, the artist and some other miscellaneous information. And it looks and feels like a professional polished iOS app. So since it's a music app, let's go ahead and play a song from an album. I'm going to click on at the far right, there's letters. I can see A through Z. And that actually is another layout grid. And when I click on one of the letters, it's going to um, perform some action. And that action happens to be moving the other layout grid to the first letter. So I'm going to click on the letter D. And you notice that the layout grid, that's the main one, which is showing the albums, moves to the first album starting with the letter D. I'm going to scroll down here and find one of the albums called December. Click on that and I'll bring up another page of my tab notebook, which happens to show the list of songs from that album. And this is using another layout grid to display all the list of songs. You could also just as easily use a uh, list view, but the layout grid is actually a lot more flexible and the performance is outstanding. Um, and the layout grid is also, also can be tied directly to your data structures and editable and can be tied to your bind sources. Um, and it, it's it's really a flexible component. So um, start using it and you're, you're going to love it. So let me select the first song in this album called Thanksgiving. And then it's going to bring up another page. And in here, um, without well playing the song, you can hear. And it's also showing some scrolling text, which is something you can do in Delphi, but with some of the animations that are part of the library. And let me go back and show you one more thing. And I'm going to do a search. I'm going to type in the word crazy. And, and now you'll see an album called Crazy Love by Michael Buble. I open that album up and you can see now that there's actually icons on the far right of a cloud. That's because this album happens to be on the cloud. It's not downloaded to my phone yet. Um, so the, this is using a layout grid again. I'm going to click on All of Me and now it's going to download that song from the cloud and start playing it. Yep, there it goes. So this app, I really encourage you to uh, install Firepower and then go through the public demos directory and compile and run this app on your iPhone. It's a great app, it's a fun app, it's a great way to show Delphi in action with Firepower and you can see the performance of the apps that you can build with Rad Studio 10. And I think that's going to really impress your clients. And you're going to be able to develop these apps rapidly. You're going to be able to port them to other platforms rapidly. So get this app on your phone and, and start showing it to some of your clients. All right, now I'm going to go back to design time and show you how to create this kind of app.